have released the dog. I blow a Rick the camera, do a 100% camera, bro. Yo. No one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yo. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Maybe RTS or RPG or maybe even MMM. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back for another video for Lucid Adventure Idol RPG. And make sure you check out the Discord because there's a lot of cool things going on there. We got a bunch of people hanging out, sharing ideas, and it's just getting bigger and better. Now, let's get into this video. All right, well, I decided i just wanted to kind of give a rundown of abandoned mind now mind you this is not like a full guide or anything because i'm still testing abandoned mind i haven't like utilized everybody or anything and there's only so many characters i can really use and build as i'm over level 60 and leveling up the units are getting really slow and i'm f2p so it's not like i can pay my way through with that being said just give you guys a little bit of my thought process and some of the things you should be looking out for and some of the things that you should be doing. There will be a full guide that I probably will have to end up updating anyway a little bit later on down the line as I get more experience with the abandoned mind. But I want to share this with you guys so you can get a little bit of an understanding of some of what you need to do. But the first thing I'm going to go to do before I show the video is just going to the band of mine and kind of just show off the team that I'm using currently. So on my main party and they kind of swap around so it doesn't really matter as much who you throw in as long as it's like some of your stronger ones. So I have Master Swordsman, Oz, God of course, Lu Bu, and then we have Choco BB, Arms, and Constant. Now with my decisions here you're gonna need a mixture between your physical units and your magical units so i went with like a three three comp here where you got three physical three the uh, three magics just to just to mix and match because there are going to be various things and various variables that will change through each stage now as you get stronger you get more power yeah you'll be able to burst your way through but there is some strategy to it so even if you're slightly weaker you probably can get past a level that you might got might be stuck at just with the right strategy so this is why i want to share some of my thought process and some of what goes on when i do the abandoned mind so here's the video I'm going to be completely honest here. I wish I was recording when I did my first run because it was really good. But this isn't meant to like me be super educational. It's just me doing my testing. So follow along and hope you guys might enjoy. All right, first thing here, I'm going to click the auto so they can at least have something going on. And we're going to watch our ads. <clears throat> the boxes on the right side are really important. That's a stun. That could be decent. Oh, time ticket. That's going to be pretty good. And I think that's an HP. Yep, that's the HP dial. Add time. Yep. And, and the stun. All right, so... I wish I had a lantern here because you only get three and those things are critically important, especially once you get to higher stages and you start failing. But uh, what you roll here is really important. HP down is a good one. The time extra is a good one. Stun is kind of like mid tier for me. But what I'm looking at here is the waves. The current wave we're on and the next wave's coming. You're really checking out the next wave's coming because that's going to indicate who you need to bring. So you kind of got to know what your characters do. So I don't play it all the way on auto. I just start off auto so I can get my boxes open. So now we're going to go to manual and start powering up this way. And kind of powering up the people in the back and paying attention to what we have. So we got medium monsters coming up next. I'm gonna swap him out. Get master. So he can one shot things, do some good damage. My golem should be good here. <clears throat> We're not gonna have too many problems right now. 
Not in these early... Not in the early runs. The early runs are gonna be okay. <coughs> Alright, flying coming up next. So we're gonna take you out. We throw Lubu in. Constant should be good because he can attack flying as well. I could also swap out Constant for arms too because she helps with flying. Another option. Alright, so... Wasn't paying attention, but we did lose one of our times there. Kind of saw that going, but we still got the one of our lanterns, so we got to be mindful of that because we are in the early stages, and that's a problem. All right, more flying coming up. So I think I'm gonna swap out Constant and bring Arms in, power her up here. Make sure we're powering up everybody. Constant's actually real strong here. The sad part. Constant's good for it, but I'm really liking arms. I think she's gonna be like solid for abandoned mine. I'm still really finding my strategy, fine tuning it. Oh, and then this, you gotta click it. You gotta click it. You gotta click it. You gotta click it. Give me time. Give me time. Ah, oh, give me the time. All right, I was. You gotta, you know, double tap it for it to come up, but it didn't. <clears throat> I think it did, yeah, it, it did it. It did it for me. It gave me the time at the last second, so that's good. <clears throat> yeah, because I wanted to get Master Swordsman in, because you got to be, like, really mindful and really quick when you're doing Abandoned Mind. Like, you can't be slow here. And me recording is not really helping me do it well, because I'm still really learning my strategy. As I'm developing it, but this is just a basic rundown of my thought process going into doing it. Alright, so we need to pay attention to what's coming up here. Speed movement. We should be good with Lubo here. Small invasives. Alright, so we're gonna get Ma Master back in. Alright, so we got some more movement speeds. Accuracy and invasion guys coming up. So these indications let you know like kind of what you need. To kind of deal with them, like thing. All right, long range magic immunity. All right, so we need to get you in. You, uh, well, we're good. We're good. I think we made it past that. All right, now we need heavy damage here. Let's get the HP down. Get clear that pretty fast. So that HP down is good for that wave. I think that was wave 31 or 30 or 30 or 31. But it's good for that wave because they have really high HP. And a lot of times that's where I, I lose a lantern early on. Alright, so let's swap you out. Get you in. <clears throat> and when you have somebody with an advantage, you definitely want to have them in. They're gonna help you clear fast. Definitely gonna help you help you clear fast. Alright, attack power coming up long range physical immunity so we need to get him out we need to get what's well, so no 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 we're, yeah we're gonna get Lubu out and get Choco in so we need to start really powering up it's coming up <clears throat> alright more physical immunity so and then on it so we should be good here. So yeah, preparing and having your team ready for the wave. Ready for the wave that's coming. Like, alright, we got Assassin's Long Range Immunity. So, Oz, they're going to be a problem. We're going to swap in. Soros, man, because he's going to be good here. Alright, I see we just lost the Lantern. Spam his skill. We might lose right here. All right, we made it, but barely. My movement speed, my time's up. And then be mindful that you do got a time until it takes for them to come back. But if you get the right thing on your boxes, you can get something that will give that can completely remove the timer that will help you get your characters back in the fight. All right, magic immunity coming up next. We're gonna put arms in. Take you out. Some damage off. Alright. 
So see, we're right already prepared for magic immunity on its way. We got a physical immunity coming up. This is normally a stage that's really difficult to get past. I finally got past it on my last run, but I had really good, I had like really good setup on my boxes. Like the boxes are going to determine a lot of what your run's going to be. You can see my record 50. That was the last one I got all the way up to 53. But uh, that's going to make a big difference on what, what you do and how you perform in it. But that's just a quick little rundown of my thought process on how I do abandon mine so far, so far. I'm going to really, like, put together an actual guide later on down the line, but I kind of just wanted to give you guys, like, a perspective of abandon mine. So, as far as teams go, I really don't know what will be the best team comp to have. I'm just using what I think I need personally, but I will talk about that later on. So, I hope you guys enjoy at least this bits little. tids and bits of uh my brain process of abandoned mind and if you did make sure you smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated if you don't like it there is a button for that as well come check out our discord where we got a bunch of people a lot of information a lot of people just like it's so many so many of us now that you, you can't do nothing but learn if you come subscribe if you're new here turn those post notifications on so you can see the content when it goes live and this is your host gamer dude 2088 and i'll see you next time and i'm out deuces